guys, 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 I hope you are excited about this one. I have a ball of fire, ball of energy coming your way. When I talk energy, I'm talking the eloquence, I'm talking the positivity, I'm talking the confidence, I'm talking the message. But I don't want to take too much away from it. Instead, let me give Slu the platform to do what she does best. Slu, it's over to you, girl. Hello, hi. My name is Silo Kelamalamadi, better known to you as Slu. I am super excited to be doing this today because this is an amazing platform that Abu Nisaho created. Um, very, very interesting because he is a man, but he sees the need to give women a platform so women can just talk about any and everything that affects them so a big big shout out to Abu Pulisejo and the amazing women that are behind him my topic is celebrating individuality and the reason why I want to speak about that is because I know that as women we are encouraged to build sisterhood we are encouraged to collaborate more than compete and all of that is true However, we don't speak enough about celebrating our individuality. Look, as women, we are different. We've got different struggles, we've got different ambitions, and so on and so forth. So that means that our milestones cannot be measured in the same way. What is success for me as a woman is different for you still as a woman, as my fellow sister. So, the importance of celebrating um, our uniqueness, my God, cannot be emphasized enough because we live in an era where it is so easy to copy what other people are doing. Because of social media, you know, everything is just so magnified. We want people's relationships, we want people's children, we want people's lives. And we forget to look at ourselves and be grateful for the opportunities that we have had for the life that we have so the reason I want to speak about celebrating individuality is exactly that and how do you celebrate your individuality one accept the fact that you are you okay we might be doing the same course be in the same industry but that does not mean that you and I are the same no two people are the same and that is absolutely fine so you can start celebrating by just embracing the fact that you know what i am unique i am loud i am colorful or i am very quiet i'm reserved you know that is where we start by embracing ourselves as we are the second thing in embracing and celebrating our individuality is understanding that we are evolving you see, as people, we change all the time. What you liked a couple of months ago, you probably don't like now. And even as women, we are allowed the same opportunity. We're allowed the same privilege. So let us start understanding that we evolve all the time so that we don't have to beat ourselves up when there's certain behaviors that we can no longer tolerate, when there's certain things that we don't like, or when there's things that we have started to like. It happens. We outgrow people, we outgrow places and things all the time. And you know what? It is absolutely fine. The video for today is brought about in partnership with Enviro Switch Cares Foundation. It's a non-profit organization that my wife and I founded and it has the vision of affecting and impacting the lives of people of all races, people of all ethnic groups and people of all ages. We don't want to make a difference that's just a drop in the ocean. So we've chosen the approach of stakeholder engagement, of partnerships and innovative solutions for the problems affecting people within the country of South Africa and beyond. Born out of the desire to impact lives, ours is community upliftment at the individual level. That is why as a 33 year old male, I've already donated blood over 40 times in my lifetime and I intend to do it until the day I die because I know the impact that comes from it. But further to that, we have done drives where we've donated over 600 shoes to schools in KZN. We have made donations to Betha Goa Hospital. We have further made donations and contributions to local authors who have shared their knowledge and information with young people, the likes of Mr. Witness Mdaga, Mr. Tepo Musiedi, and Mr. Miracle Chawani. But 
for us to carry on with the social drives that we'd like to achieve under Embarrass Switch Cares Foundation, this is where you come in. We need your support. Not only in the form of giving and contributions, but also in identifying the people that actually need any form of assistance. As long as our foundation can reach them, then it's something that we are more than happy to do. So, if you would like to donate or if you would like to reach out, simply email joy.holani at enviroswitch.co.za. You can further contact her telephonically on 0784013118. And for more on Enviroswitch, Case Foundation, you can visit www.itstartswithyou.co.za and then you just forward the page and then learn what you can learn from us. The third and final thing um, that I would like to touch on around celebrating individuality is allow yourself to stand out. Allow yourself to stand out. Some of us occupy spaces that we feel we aren't worthy of. Some of us occupy spaces that we feel we don't deserve, you know, that we don't have the necessary requirements to be in that space. Sister, I am here to tell you that there is a reason why your name has been called in that place. There is a reason why you are occupying that space and it does not matter. If you don't have the requirements, if it is by great anointing, if it is by, you know, a greater power that you are sitting there, then trust me, you have got a purpose there. And that means that you need to make a valuable contribution there. We need to stop doubting ourselves and doubting our capabilities because we feel like I don't have the degree for this job. I don't have this and that. That is not what it's about. It's about the fact that your character, your personality, your work ethic has earned you a place in that space. So stop questioning it, embrace it, and start making a valuable contribution. So that is what I would like to say. We do not celebrate ourselves enough. And if there's one thing that COVID has taught us is that life is very, very true. And nothing is certain. You might think that if you don't do things today, you've got another opportunity tomorrow. But with the way the pandemic has just unraveled everything, we have come to see and learn that anything can change at any given moment. So celebrate yourself. Celebrate yourself. Celebrate yourself as much as you can. And you know what the power of celebrating your, indiv your individuality rather is? It's that you are then able to celebrate other people. That is one of the ways of becoming successful. And that is one of the best ways of manifesting whatever you want. It's by celebrating yourself and then opening your heart up to celebrate other people. That is exactly how we are going to get rid of jealousy. You know? So I really hope that you have enjoyed um, the mini talk that I have given, that you have learned something. And most importantly, that you will from now on begin celebrating yourself from me to you it's love and light thank you thank you thank you slew for the awesome message i know that people are going to implement what you taught them i know that people listened hard and i know that i did raise their expectations but i knew that you'd meet them so based on that ladies and gentlemen especially ladies remember at the end of the day it starts with you Cheers.